Hello, my name is Lanny Shaughnessy, and I am going to walk you through the setup and use of your digital probe. Now, in this video, we will be using the warp function to probe off a warped board so that we can carve and create an even carving along this warped surface. Now, on my router, as you see in the uh, camera here, my probe is mounted off to the side of the router. You can either mount your probe off to the side or you can mount it into the bottom of your router in the collet, the quarter inch collet. Now due to the probe's height, uh, mounting it in the router does not give very much height uh, below the tip of the router uh, probe, below the tip of the probe and the top of the surface so it doesn't allow for much room uh, to probe thick materials and if you notice on my table I am using a vacuum clamping system and therefore my vacuum pods are about one inch thick and my material is three quarters of an inch thick and mounting it in the the probe in the router uh, I would not have been able to use my vacuum clamping system so I have a mount off to the side this is a very simple mount that was made with my CNC uh, to uh, mount the probe off to the side and I will make the plans available for a side mount and down the road in the future uh, we may have an accessory where a probe mount will be built into the dust collection housing that is not an item that we have available now but we may have it available in the near future in the meantime a side mount is something that can be made it can be made out of wood or in my case, I used an UHMW plastic, the same thing my pods are made out of. Now, when we want to, when we probe, we're going to be probing from the lower left corner of the board. So if we were to look at our board in our project, whether we are probing a 3D object for duplication or we are probing a design uh, that, uh, you know, for the warp board. Uh, in this uh, illustration I have up here, it's a, a simulation as if we were probing a 3D object uh, for duplication. And we want to set kind of a grid around that object. That's going to be our probing area. And on this area here, uh, the length along the x-axis is about 6.104. And the width along the y-axis is about 2.5 inches. And so I would set that up in my TNG measure area, measure surface area. Uh, with those two measurements and then I would tell it how far apart I want to touch off those points as it's probing this area. Well in my case I am going to be probing my entire board because I am doing a project uh, that uh, is just a simple carving and so let's go ahead and get the carving back in there. And I'm going to get rid of this 3D object. And this is going to be the uh, carving that I'm going to be doing. So in my case, because I am carving it on a warp board, I want to probe the entire surface of the board uh, to capture those offset points. And we're going to start from the lower left corner. And my board overall is 18 and a half inches by 5 and a half inches. And that's the area that I want to probe. So let's move over to the TNG software. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to set up our router so that the probe is on that lower left corner. And with it, uh, with it now I've got it set on that lower left corner, uh, X and Y uh, position. I'm ready to zero out that X and Y. Then I'm going to measure that Z distance. I'm going to touch off the Z with the probe and then I can begin my measuring points after I set up the measure area. So let's go ahead and walk through that. The first thing I want to do is now that the probe is in the XY position, I want to come over here and work position axis to XY zero. Okay, axis to zero XY. This icon here, it's got an XY with a box with two arrows. I want to push that to zero out that X and Y axis for that probe. Now I'm ready to measure, work position measure, 
the Z offset. So when I click this button, the uh, probe will come down and measure off that Z position. Okay, and once that's done, we're now ready to begin probing. It's going to go down and park itself. It's going to raise itself back up and park itself at 0.253. So now we've set that X, Y, and Z position. Now we're ready to set up our work area. So we're going to come into the machine menu, down to measure, and then over to measure surface. And that's going to open up the measure surface dialog box. Now my position X and my position Y are zero. That's where I'm starting from, the bottom left corner of the board, zero, zero. And the size X and the size Y is going to be the size of that probing area. In the case of when I, you know, showing you the uh, 3D model that was going to get probed, that was a 6.104 by 2.5 on that X and Y. And we would type those numbers in there. Well, in my case, I'm doing the entire board, which is going to be 18.5 by 5.5 along the Y. And I want that probe to step over every one inch to uh, probe out the entire board. So I, with everything set in that measure surface dialog box, when we click OK, it will start the probing procedure. So let's go ahead and click Start. You will hear my uh, vacuum cycle every once in a while. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit OK and start the probing. Now this is going to step down the length of the board every one inch. Then it's going to step over an inch along the Y axis and then it's going to come back along that X and step over another inch. So we will let this go ahead and uh, probe out, and then we will come back to our uh, setup, and I will show you the next steps. Okay, so now that the probing action is done, the probe is going to stop at the last probe point. And now I just need to bring it back to that X, Y, zero position. And then ultimately, I need to bring my router bit over to that X, Y, zero position. So I need to know what the distance is between the tip of the probe and the tip of my router bit, my X, Y, and Z uh, offset distance from those two points which I know my uh, y-axis, the distance from the tip of the bit uh, to the tip of the probe is 3.084. My x-axis is 0.031 and my z is 0.2. So I will be moving the router over to that position after I bring the router home. So let's go ahead and bring the probe back home. And we're going to click the x, y, zero button and we're going to bring the probe back to the X, Y, zero. And now I want to use the MIDI box below and I want to type in the G code for moving the router bit over to that position. So I'm going to type in G zero. Y on the Y axis, I want to move a negative direction of 3.084. Along the X axis, I want to move a negative 0.031. I'm not going to do the Z because I'm going to be using my quick set touch block to touch off the Z. I just want to get the router bit to that X and Y position. So we go ahead and click enter and the router will now move over to that corner. Once I do that, 
I can now come over here and zero out the X and Y position. Now I'm going to raise the Z up and I'm going to get my touch block into place to touch off on that. So let me get the router into a position for my touch block. And now with the router in position for the touch block, I can go ahead and use the work position measure tool to touch off that Z axis. Okay, so once that's done, I can now bring the uh, router or the touch block out of the way. And I'm ready to bring the router to the X, Y, and Z zero position. So if I take it now to move to zero, that's going to move all three positions. And notice the tip of my bit is one half of an inch up above my zero because that's how thick my touch block is, my quick set tool. So I need to bring it down that negative half of an inch and then zero out the Z. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to use the MIDI box again and go G0, which is the G code for move, the Z axis to negative 0.5, and we're going to hit enter, bring it down, and now I can zero out that Z axis. And I want to zero out the machine position while I'm here, and then just go back and get that work position set to zero. Now that I am at the corner of the board, I'm ready to bring in the file. I'm ready to bring in the file that I'm going to carve. And uh, let's go with our Digital Wood Carver probe file here. And I am ready now to put the offset points that the probe just touched off into this program, this, this toolpath here, so that it will warp it to the warp of that board. All right, to bring those warp points in, we're going to go to Program, down to Warp, and we're going to load the files. Now, the files will be saved in your C drive, your Planet C, or your Program Files x86 uh, folder, and your Planet CNC folder. You'll see a text file that says Measure Surface. You're going to open that up, and it will load all of the points. We have 114 points that it touched off and set for us. So when we click OK, that will program in the warp. And we can see that uh, it's, uh, you know, we've got a little bit of warping going on there. And that's going to carve this surface uh, and create a nice even carving for us along that warp surface. All right, so as we can see, you know, we got some offset points here and everything. And that's what the warp function does. It brings our... Uh, carving, uh, it warps it to those different points uh, that it's registered uh, so that when we do our carving, we will have a nice, even surface. It'll be carved, you know, nice and evenly. It'll follow the curve or the warp of that board. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, at this point now, we uh, would set the uh, program to start and we would run the carving. Let's take a look real quick at the back end. Uh, the one thing that I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video is in the settings. In the settings, we need to go down uh, to the measure area and we need to set our sensor up, our actual probe. We have our touch plate, sensor one, which is our little 10 thousandths of an inch touch plate. But sensor two is going to be our probe. And depending on where you wired it on the control board, you're either using input pin 3 or input pin 5. Um, and I've got mine wired to input pin 3. And so we will set that input pin. And then we will set the thickness. Uh, you're going to be going back and forth depending on if you're probing or if you're using your touch plate and stuff. You're going to be back and forth changing this movable sensor thickness. So for my touch plate, it's 10 thousandths of an inch thick. For my probe, it's an eighth inch ball, and the radius is 0 0.0625. Uh, so you would set, uh, you know, those two when you're you're kind of jogging back and forth between your touch plate for a regular job, or your probe for a warp job or something.
okay you got to set up that sensor thickness now once we do that you can set uh, different setting files like right now I have my setting file that I just created basically for the probing and I could come in here and I could come into the uh, export the settings and I could take and call this the DWC TNG probe and today's date is 4 9 18 so I can set that uh, where I, uh, you know, have the thickness of the sensor for the probe. Uh, and if I want to go back to my normal uh, 10 thousandths of an inch, I can import my regular setting file and uh, go back to that 10 thousandths of an inch thickness, uh, either one. So uh, we, can, we can have two different, we can have one for milling and one for probing on our setting files. All right, if you have any questions, you can always email us at sales at digitalwoodcarver.com. I'd be happy to answer them uh, and assist you in any way possible. And I appreciate you watching this little tutorial. Uh, until next time, I'll see you soon.